Good afternoon and welcome to our discussions on the relevance of financial status. As we saw in the last session, the performance of an organization is a function of liquidity, solvency, profitability and efficiency. By capturing all these four, it is possible to understand the overall performance of a company and we wanted to see the ratio analysis as a tool to understand each of these aspects of financial performance and today we will spend some time on the liquidity position. The liquidity position of a company shows two issues. One is the ability of a company to meet the short term liabilities. We can also understand the how the companies are financing their short term assets and the long term assets by seeing the indicators of liquidity. But in this session, we will try to see the ability of the firm to meet the short term liabilities. One of the important ratios which is which helps us in understanding this particular position is the current ratio and which also reflects the working capital. Current ratio is the excess of current assets over the current liability. But when I say current assets and current liabilities, both these items are picked from the balance sheet. So, our analysis is limited to the balance sheet. Current assets of a company consists of maybe stock, maybe debtors, maybe cash, some short term loans and some short term advances. So, therefore, there is large number of items which can be put under the current assets, but our focus may be for the time being we will say that stock, debtors, cash and other current assets. Similarly, the current liability generally consists of the creditors or suppliers, uh, the money due to the, uh, the supplier who actually supplied the raw material or any other revenue goods. Sometime provisions towards the payment of uh, the um, statutory obligations can also be taken as a current liability. Outstanding expenses towards the salaries and other uh, normal revenue expenditures can also be treated as a current liability. And one of the important items may be the bank overdraft. So, if you put all of them together, you call current liabilities. So, current ratio tries to establish relationship between the current assets and the current liability. And generally they say that if the current ratio is positive, that means the current assets are more than the current liability, it is generally accepted that the current the ability of the firm to meet the current uh, liabilities is good. But let us understand, is there any specific benchmark or is there any standard ratio which can be used as a standard to say the liquidity position is good? In my understanding, it is not advisable to use one number to comment on the liquidity position of any company. It is better to see what is happening in that industry, what is happening in that company, what is happening to the behavior of these items over a period of time. For example, in India, if I pick up the financial statements of topmost, let us say nifty companies, most of the companies have a current ratio of more than 1. What does it mean? The current assets of these companies are greater than the current liabilities. But interestingly, some of these top 50 companies forming a part of Nifty, around 10, let us say a company like Tata Motors, Tata Steel, all these companies, around 10 companies out of this Nifty have less than 1 as a current ratio. That means, these companies have current assets less than the current liabilities. Later on, we will try to understand what is the relevance of this positive working capital, which is a result of the positive current assets or greater than one current assets and a negative working capital when the current uh, ratio is less than one. But at the same time, there is another extreme companies like Satyam, National Aluminium Company that is Nalco, NTPC, even Infosys have current as current ratio as on 31st March 08, very high, very high relatively speaking, maybe they are in the range of 5 to 4 or 5 to 3. That means, the current assets of Satyam is about 5 times of the current liabilities of Satyam. 
So, does that mean the liquidity position of Nalco of Satya is much better than the liquidity position of Tata Steel and Tata Motors? It is difficult to say by just saying the current ratio, because the current ratio has certain limitations. Number one limitation is it is capable of being window dressed. Number two, the focus of the current ratio is on the numbers, the quantity rather than the quality of the current assets. So, to address this limitation, we try to bring in some other ratios. For example, we say the liquid ratio. We remove the items which are capable of being window dressed like stock and then calculate the current ratio. So, liquid ratio will be current assets minus stock divided by current liabilities. But still there are some other assets. Let me say that remove the debtors. Then what will happen? We will have another ratio called absolute current ratio. And so, if I combine absolute current ratio, liquid ratio with the current ratio, then I can have a better understanding. In the process, I am addressing the window dressing problem of the current ratio. But still there is another problem. The other problem is the problem of uh, the problem of focus on the excess focus on the quantity rather than the quality and that can be addressed by taking debtors days, inventory days and the creditors days. So, if I combine current ratio with the liquid ratio, absolute current ratio, debtors days, inventory days and the creditor days together. I might get a better picture of the liquidity position of the company. Later on, we will try to see what are these debtor days, creditor days and inventory days and how do they comment on or contribute towards our understanding of the current ratio or understanding of the liquidity.